Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back with me, Nathan. In this video, I want to show you a cool open source project that allows you to plug a responsive web-based UI into Gemini CLI. So just yesterday, I found this open source project called Gemini CLI UI. It's a responsive web-based UI that provides an intuitive interface for Google's Gemini CLI. It will enable AI-assisted coding from any device. Features include interactive chat, integrated terminal, file explorer with live editing, editing, Git integration, and session management. Now, if you aren't familiar with Gemini CLI, it's a command line tool that's developed by Google so that developers can have access to Gemini models directly from the terminal. I already have a video reviewing the tool and I will leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. So this project basically adds a chat-like interface for you to use Gemini CLI and you can easily select the model to use from a settings page. Now, here's the architecture of the project. It uses React for the front end, Express for back end, which connects to Gemini CLI and SQLite database for session management. Some key features of this project include a responsive UI design, interactive chat interface, integrated shell terminal in case you want the CLI interface, file explorer, Git explorer, session management, model selection, and YOLO mode which allows Gemini to run actions without your permissions. Because this is a web-based program, you can install it on a server and then use it to interact with your project remotely. If you want to learn more, you can access this GitHub repo, the link is in the the description. But for now, let's try to install this UI and see how good it really is. Now before we get into the exciting part, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button down below and please help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year as it will mean a lot to me making me feel more excited to create useful videos just like this one. Now, to install Gemini CLI UI, you simply need to clone the repository to your machine. Copy the git clone command here, and then open your computer's terminal or command line, paste the command, and press enter. Now, if you don't have secure shell protocol enabled on GitHub, you will see this error message saying permission denied. So, what you can do here is to copy the full URL to the repository and clone it using HTTPS method instead. So, git clone and then paste the URL to the repo and press enter. Now, the project is successfully copied, so use the cd command to get inside the project, and then run the npm install command. This will install all dependencies required for the project, and once finished, you can run the cp command to copy the .env.example file as a .env file. You can leave this file as it is for local installation, but in case you want to install it remotely, there are some variables from this file that you need to change. Let me open the file in VS Code. If you're running Gemini CLI for real, then you need to add a GWT key for securing the session and then change the node environment to production. But for testing or local use, you don't have to do that. Alright, now that the setup is complete, all we need to do is to run the npm run dev command. And now the web UI is already running, so you can use one of these access points in the browser. I will just use the local host link here. So open the browser, paste the URL, and here's the web UI. You will be asked to enter a username and password, so just fill it in, click create account, and here's the main interface of the web UI. In order to see the full features, you need to add the project first, so I will add this project that I have prepared for this video. It's simply a web app for real estate listings created using the MERN stack. Once the project is added, you can click on it to open the chat interface as shown here. Now, the default model used in this web UI is the Flash model, so if you want to use the pro model, you can change it from the tool settings menu down on the bottom left here. Change the model to Gemini 2.5 Pro here, and then you can enable YOLO mode, notification sound, as well as allowed and disallowed tools over here. There is also the appearance settings where you can change the theme to light mode, but I would just continue to use the dark mode as I'm more used to it. Save all the settings, and here we have Gemini 2.5 Pro used in the chat window. So I will just ask, what is this project about, and then press enter. Let's wait for a moment. Uh, here we can see some MCP standard error log, but these doesn't seem to be error logs. It just says the MCP servers are running. Um, I guess we'll check on those later. But for now, the AI is running correctly, and here's the output from Gemini. This is a MERN stack application for real estate platform, backend build with Node.js and Express, used MongoDB for database, front-end used React and Redux. 
And yeah, so Gemini can see this project without any issue. Next, you can also open the Gemini CLI UI by clicking on this shell menu on the top right side. Then, click this continue in the shell button, and here's the usual Gemini CLI interface. Wait for the alt presses to finish. Uh, but there seems to be something wrong as I can't type anything here. I'm currently pressing buttons, but nothing seems to show up. Uh, we'll get back to this later. For now, let's continue to the files menu. And here we can see all files and folders for this project. We can also open the file and then edit the content manually as shown here. Once done, we can save the changes. And that's pretty much it for the file explorer feature. Next, we have the source control menu. So here in the source control, we can see the changed files. And we can create a new commit to save these changes. We can also see the commit history from this tab over here. And yeah, so that will be all for the Gemini CLI UI features. Next, I want to test running Gemini to create an app from scratch. Okay, so first, I will add a new empty folder using the add project menu here. Select that project, and then write the prompt to create a Minesweeper game in neon color style, use HTML, CSS, and JS. Press enter to send the prompt, and then let Gemini work on the request for a moment. Hmm, okay, it seems that... It seems that here Gemini did nothing. It said it will create an HTML file here, but I'm not sure if it's done. We can already send a new chat over here as well, so it seems the AI already stopped processing the request. Hmm, I think this is because the tools are disabled by default in this web UI. So let's go to the tools settings again, and then let's enable the tools required to complete the job. Um, I will just add these examples over here, especially write and read, and uh... Or maybe just enable the YOLO mode over here so that Gemini can run all the tools. Now save the settings. And let's try to send a request again with the same prompt. I will skip forward a bit. Okay, so now Gemini seems to be able to create the required files. And now let's open the files menu. Uh, there seems to be nothing here. But if I open the explorer here on my computer, I can already see the files. So I think we need to refresh the web UI once the files are created. Alright, now the files are visible in the web UI after reloading. Uh, next, let's open the game on the browser. And here's the game, so let's test it out. And yeah, I think we can play this Minesweeper game without any problem. Uh, let's open the tiles here. And I clicked on the mine there, so it's game over. Let's press reset to start a new round. Alright, so the game is working without any issues. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can use this channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. But overall, that's how Gemini CLI UI works. It brings a nice web UI that you can use to interact with Gemini CLI locally or remotely. Honestly, I think this web UI is unnecessary when you're coding on your computer, just because you can use VS Code and put Gemini CLI on the right side. Just open the terminal as usual and put it on the right side as shown here. It's already very convenient to code with Gemini as your assistant this way. And if you want a chat-like interface that's integrated to the IDE, you can also use the Gemini Code Assist plugin. Aside from bringing user interface to the IDE, Gemini Code Assist also offers real-time code suggestions and automatic completions in case you want to code without agents. But if you want to set up your project remotely so that team members can access them, then maybe using Gemini CLI UI installed on a server using Docker container might be a working solution for you. And now we have come to the end of this video. So, what do you think about the Gemini CLI web UI? I encourage you to try it out for yourself and let me know about your experiences. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Koei Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye.